We're going to visit with our friends from the Blank Park Zoo and speaking of friends and Schmirdla is at one of the most popular places that people are visiting over at the Blank Park Zoo via their devices or computers and things like that. And it's time to say good morning to Ann Schmirdla hanging out by the reef. Hi, Ann. Good morning. That is one of the most popular places people are visiting now online is the, uh, uh, the display right behind you. That's right. We set up a webcam in the coral reef. So whenever you need just some of that quiet time or that relaxation, turn on the reef cam and it is amazing just watching the fish swim by and it, they're all different colors. We have several different species of fish in there. It is it is awesome. Now, how big a, a, of a, a reef is it there right behind you? Because we can see the incredible family that's back there. Yep, it is. Oh gosh, you're going to stump me now. I'm going to second guess myself. I think it's about 300 gallons. Mm -hmm. No, more more than 300 gallons, but it's... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. 50, was it 15,000? 15, sorry, 15,000 gallons. 15,000 gallons, but uh, such a variety of fish there. But you can just yeah. dial in there and just zone out. And that's what I've been doing when you, when you dial into the reef is you zone out for a while. It's just very calming, isn't it? It is, yep, and watching everybody swim by. I mean, it's just amazing, and all the different variety of species. And of course, this represents the reefs that we have out in the oceans uh, all across the world. And right now, our coral reefs in the oceans, there's about 80% decline in the species there. And right in Florida is one of the biggest declines. They're actually facing, um, the, the reefs are facing a, a pandemic as well. Um, it's called stony coral. Um, disease mm -hmm. and Blank Park Zoo is proud to actually be helping um, in that effort to restore the reefs down in Florida. Oh, that is awesome. Now for those people that are w looking at the reef right now, maybe they've seen it online and they're trying to picture where at the zoo this is located. Uh, the, the regular visitors know where it's at, but if you're not a regular visitor to the Blank Park Zoo when things reopen, which we're going to talk about here in a second, uh, tell everybody how they can find the reef. So the coral reef is inside our discovery center. So you enter the discovery center through the lobby and you walk through the indoor rainforest where we have all of our free flight birds. And then it ends um, by the coral reef um, tank, which is right, right behind me. All right, now you have the coral reef behind you. And, and uh, if we can spin a little bit, you have another really big uh, vertical uh, aquarium that's there too. Uh, explain what that is. Yeah, and this is our um, Pacific um, Coast tank. So these are all fish and species that you would find along the Pacific um, Ocean, like in Oregon and Washington, Northern California and those areas. So there's, uh, of course, the sea stars, anemones, and then several different species of fish as well. And that's a 360 degree view there. You can walk all the way around that. That is really a cool area too. And then uh, we, we don't have a chance to see the Paku, but those are uh, like piranha looking like fish, big ones, right? That's right. Those they're actually vegetarians, but yes, they they uh, are made to look like uh, piranha, and that's a defense of theirs. And then they we have red-tailed catfish and freshwater stingrays in that tank. And then we also have our other tank um, across from us that is our cichlid tank, which is uh, cichlids are little fish in a uh, lake in Africa. Wonderful. All right, now let's talk about when people are going to have a chance to go and and see the zoo again. Uh, we we've been just gnawing at the bit to get out to the Blank Park Zoo. There's no <laughs> other experience in the entire city of Des Moines like visiting the zoo. What's the game plan here, Ann? Well, we are hoping um, to welcome people back as soon as possible, but we want to make sure that we're doing it in a responsible manner. So we are waiting for the governor um, to make her announcements as to what the plans are for reopening um, parts of the state. So my answer in short is we don't know yet exactly a timeline, but I can say that we've been working over the last several weeks putting together a strategy so that we can create a fun uh, and healthy environment when people are here. Um, we want it, people to use this as an opportunity to come out, get outside of their houses. Um, but we implemented a lot of changes to operations. So we really want people to make sure you pay attention to our website and to our social media. So when the time is right, they'll have all the information. So examples are, um, we'll be limiting attendance on a daily basis. So everybody must have a time ticket. Zoo members or other patrons um, will have to go to our website to do a time ticket. We won't release that until we have direction from the governor. Um, and then once you do come to the zoo, all the indoor spaces will be closed. So unfortunately, we won't be able to see the coral reef live um, right away, um, but you can still view it on, on the webcam. Um, but all the outdoor spaces 
will be open um, at that time. And then the pathway, we want to make sure families have plenty of space for distancing. So we have a one-way path through the zoo and we have markers along the path as a reminder for groups to um, keep apart from each other. All right, so all the, so the, with the time that the zoo has not been open, the zoo has not stopped working and uh, put together these uh, different structures. So when the zoo does reopen, we're going to be able to do things in a, a safe and responsible manner. Okay, so that, that looks like what's going on. I also want to remind everybody that they do have an ability for people to zoom Keep with talking. zoo animals. And the zooming with zoo animals uh, is going rather well. Oh, I can't and, hear that. Uh, if, if we can, uh, I'm not sure if Ann's able to, to we, we lost audio to Ann, but I want to tell you a little bit about the zooming with zoo animals. Uh, you have a chance to have these animals visit your Zoom. If you're doing a Zoom meeting, they can be one of the elements of your uh, little Zoom meeting here and make a donation to it, a 10 minute visit from a sea lion, a giraffe, a rhino, a llama, the camel that you see here. Uh, you can even have some other visits from maybe Squeeze the Corn Snake uh, or the macaw or, or the gigantic rabbit uh, that you've seen on the program here. Go to the Blank Park Zoo website, blankparkzoo.com, to get all the details on that as well. And remember, uh, the zoo relies on people going to the zoo in order to function. So if you can make a donation uh, to the Blank Park Zoo, it is much appreciated. And Merla, thank you so much for visiting us. We cannot wait to get back and see everything alive and in person at the Blank Park Zoo. All right, 20 minutes.